Hey, what's going on? This is Matt. Um, today I want to talk to you about Machine 1.6, the new update that allows you to do VST hosting. Uh, several improvements, several new added cool things, but the big one is Machine hosts VSTs now. So for me, this is now like the one-stop shop. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing everything just in this. I'm not even going to the DAW half the time anymore, so uh, it's really exciting. So I'm going to show you some quick tricks, uh, how to sample things in, uh, how to use live inputs and stuff like that. Just something you may have not considered, so let's do it. Here we go. Alright, so the way this works is I basically have set up a couple of instruments inside a machine. Um, the mic I'm just using as an input source so you can hear what I'm talking about right now. But of course we can sample off that later. Um, but I have a drum kit from Contact. So you can see what it looks like when you actually have instruments loaded in. So here's a great new contact library. Basically it's a new modern drum, sounds amazing. So I picked that and basically laid down a drum groove with that. Um, I have an internal drum kit from Machine, as you can see here. Uh, I have an organ from uh, Contact as well. And then I have our guitar rig, which is going to be our live input that we're going to be recording with. So basically contact, just lay down a groove first. Now the great part about Machine 1.62 is like you can see I can actually load in extra effects here. So I put this nice little preset over the top on the drums if I really wanted to punch. So now we got our drums going exactly like we want. So now we're going to talk about how to actually record um, an input. So input one here, I went ahead and you just go to any pad, hit input and go in and make sure uh, module one is set to input. And from there you're going to select your in so input source and then uh, for guitar rig I just put it as an effect on top. And so if we open up guitar rig, I'm going to mute my guitar and you can hear. So I can play the, the the guitar right on top and actually sample it right into machine. So the way I'm going to do that is pick sound two, and you see the input is set to guitar rig, and I have the sync on for four bars. So once I hit start, let's get the drums going. When I hit start, it's basically going to record uh, for a four bar and punch in. So here we go. Oops, missed it real quick. Let me just stop. We're going to clear that out and we're going to get going again. So there we go. I just laid that down live if I hold down the pad. It's in there. I can play it up. I could go into sampling and actually slice this. You know, you could actually mess with it that way too, but uh, for this purpose, we're just going to have it play. And so if I actually go into the pattern mode, uh, I'm just going to have that playing like that. So as you can see, we'll go back. And now I have it playing on top. So say if I want to actually go in and uh, record something else, I can go in and say, maybe put a lead over this. Go ahead and change source. Change the preset, I'm sorry. So it's great, you can kind of just take one input and uh, actually tweak it non-stop. And so, of course, if I wanted to go and record that onto a new pad, I could just go and select uh, another pad and then go into the sampling. And again, same idea. You can see the input come. We'll just go like this. So there we go. And again, obviously.
obviously if I wanted to slice this up I could just go ahead and apply that to a whole brand new group so put it on group G I'm just gonna clear that let's play the whole track Whatever you want, that's pretty terrible, but you get the idea of the concept, so uh, it's pretty slick. So I could basically, you know, take that and, of course, you can always go in and add extra instrumentation. So I have an organ set up here, and the great thing about this is you can see, you know, if you get into a problem where you're actually killing your CPU resources, um, just like Core, you can actually just bypass these plugins. So I can turn everything on and off just like that. Let's go this MIDI thing here. And so if I want to play this in time. I can actually go in and just tweak that out. If I want to mute it, if I want to do whatever. So it's just like machine was recording but I mean forget about it now with these plugins it's 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 a whole it's a whole different world I can have you know waves plugins on my microphone while I'm talking to you and then just throw on the mouth or something like this so it's kind of slick <laughs> even if I wanted to actually go in and let's just set this up real quick the same way sample it in change the source to my mic I'll go in and I'll throw on the uh, Go back and we'll throw on the mouth. Turn it off with the mouth. One more time with the mouth. Turn it off. Check it out. Check it out with the mouth right now. All right, so I got a little carried away there, but you get the idea. <laughs> so uh, that's just a quick idea on how to use it. You know, I'm basically kind of using like Ableton, except uh, again, doing it all inside a machine. This is just running standalone. So just hope this helps. So, uh, you know, check it out and try it for yourself and stay tuned for more uh, tutorial videos like this. Take care.